Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'll show you side-by-side -side comparison of Corsair Ironclaw Iron RGB wireless versus Razer Z Adder version 2 Pro. This is just an information video about the specs of uh, these products, so if you want to know the actual prices, check links in the description down below. Straight away, if you take a look on those two mice, you can see that uh, they are not really similar. Uh, first thing, I would say that you would enjoy uh, that other version 2 more if you are a FPS player. And uh, only because the latency of a clicks and also it's way lighter and uh, smaller for your palm. And it, you will really enjoy, you will really enjoy Iron Claw if you are into MMOs. It's not like it's a Razer Naga where you have like twelve buttons on the side, uh, on the side of uh, the mouse, just to play it with your thumb. But it has a really nice um, thumb rest. It's bulky, so uh, you can rest your hand on it and enjoy a longer gaming sessions. But uh, for that other, well, goes every anything else that you can uh, think of. As you can see, all the comparison. If you really want to even travel with these mouses, you really like the lighter one, and. Uh, they're wireless. Both of them are wireless, so you don't have to play around with the cable. As you can see, 133 grams with Iron Claw and 88 grams with that other. So there's a huge difference in weight. Uh, that other is a real. Uh, it's a bit bigger, so you can rest your palm better on it. Uh, when you are using, or most of us, is using palm grip. So you can, uh, every single hand size can use those mice with a, with a palm grip. As you can see, claw grip, there are some, uh, some limitations for small handed people. Both of them got the rechargeable batteries. A good gliding experience. As you can see what you get in the, in the packages. Also, uh, both of them. Uh, are starting at minimum of 100 CPI and Aeroclaw is maxing on 18,000 and adjustment steps is every single one CPI. That other though is using Focus Plus starting also at 100 CPI but maxing 20k with 50 uh, CPI adjusting steps. Ironclaw has uh, 10 buttons and that other just 8. Both of them got only notched wheels and are comfortable only partially with macOS. If you want something, if you want something with uh, uh, full compatibility with macOS, you should really go with Logitech uh, G Hub software. So that's about it, uh, guys. In my opinion, that other is way better mouse even for my use so share your opinion in the comments uh, what are your thoughts on these two products thanks for watching and see you on the next video